This is a podcast about both having autism and living with someone who has autism. My mom is Sonia, and I'm Josh, and this is Josh Has Autism. Hey everybody, welcome to Josh Has Autism. Hello. Josh, I'm in a bad mood. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so crabby. I'm like laughing about it because I'm otherwise... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. I'm in a bad mood. I just want to let you know that before we get started here today. Okay. I think I'm just exhausted. Yeah. Yes, I I I think I am worn out from mm-hmm. making so many decisions for so many people, mm. and I feel very fortunate to have the family that we do. Yeah. I I I love everyone. I'm so appreciative that they're in my life, mm-hmm. and um. I just got to do some things different. I feel like I'm, I can't make decisions for everybody anymore. Okay. And thought about what are we going to talk about today? And in my crabbiness, I was like, I don't want to do a podcast. And I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) I I do a podcast. I need to. And yeah. But I think uh, I want to talk to you about like the separation that we're trying to create. You and I, and and Dad and I, and you. Yeah. <laughs> what I mean is that we've been working for a lot of years to get to a place where you're independent. Yeah. And to get to a place where you make your own decisions and where you're ideally functional on your own. And sometimes it feels like I have these ideas, like we plug along, we plug along, I do stuff, I'm taking care of of decisions on your behalf. Mm-hmm. And then now and then I get to a point where I am right now today where I'm just crabby <laughs> and in a really bad mood. And I have these thoughts, these feelings, like I don't want to do this. Yeah. I. And then I don't know what's fair, I don't know what's not fair and as far as all of it. Not just, you know, what, well, I mean, what's fair to, what's fair to expect of you, what's not, what's fair for me. Right. And then I just think, well, that's just stupid. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So what I'm talking about is this dance that we've done since the time that you were tiny. In that, I try to help you to make your own decisions and to advocate for yourself. And then I step back. And then you have to step back in really quick. Sometimes rush back in, (laughs) yes. Yeah. And a lot of times this topic comes up, and I've kind of talked about this on the podcast before, but without you. Mm -hmm. Because the thing that I've been cautious about your whole life is I don't ever want to make you feel less than. You know? Mm -hmm. I don't want you to feel bad. I don't want it to seem like I'm... Um, like you're against me or something like yeah. that. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. And so these are the things that, you know, the things that you can't do or the things that we didn't talk about in front of you <laughs> when you were growing up because I didn't want you to feel like, oh, I can't do that. Or mom thinks I can't do that. Or mom doesn't have confidence in me. Right. I didn't want to contribute to the possibilities being shunted aside or something yeah yeah shut down yeah um with that said mm-hmm. when i got older and the, and those things came out it was very difficult for me to handle that explain that um like whenever whenever uh it came to college mm-hmm. t- came time for college mm-hmm. and there was you let me know about the different worries you had. Mm-hmm. And that was so different than you can do anything. <laughs> right. That it really threw me off. Yeah. I'm not blaming college on you. I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, no, no. no. I, I know what you're saying. What I I think that you're saying is that, and I'm well aware of this now, I don't know how I would have done it differently, mm-hmm. but you were kind of in a cocoon when you were growing up. Yeah. In that you were protected on all sides. 
you had an excellent school that you went to, counselors, principals, teachers, mm-hmm. um, wraparound services. So you had the TSS right there with you. Yeah. Psychiatrist, um, therapists, um, you know, your dad you. and I, right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So you were protected. You had an extra amount of time to get work done. You had a separate room you could do your assignments in. Assignments that were given to you you know book reports that you had to do they allowed me to ask you the questions and i would write them down because yeah. I, I had built a, a, a good very, report tr- yes very much so and they and they trusted what i was saying yeah when i said something was happening they understood that that's what was happening yeah um so all of that to help you and efforts to help you and I think that that led to you kind of not having a full understanding of what it was really like out there. Yeah. And I think also it it, it continues. And I I say I'm crabby today because I'm having to take care of everybody. I don't mean it like that. But every time I say it, it sounds like I'm... Here's what it is. There's You're so overwhelmed with all I, the stress. I am overwhelmed with the stress. With Nana being as sick as she's been... Yeah. And me going back and forth to Florida. Yeah. And coming up here. And yesterday, Connor had his first um, um, assessment to see if he's autistic. And... Um, Which I I find to be funny. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because he's definitely autistic. <laughs> this is just a mere formality. Uh, yes, all the formalities all the time. There's endless, endless. Yeah. That's funny that you say that. I mean, there are definitely characteristics. Haley and I were, um, um, your sister were sitting out there yesterday. Um, like he, the lady came out to get him, mm-hmm. and he just went right back with her like it was no big deal. It reminded <laughs> me of you. Yeah. How there were things that you wouldn't do, yeah. things that scared you, that didn't make sense in my mind. Mm-hmm. So I had to learn what upset you, what, what triggered you. Mm-hmm. But she came on good. He didn't know her. He just went right back. No big deal. Anyway, your sister and I were sitting out there filling out these questionnaires. Mm-hmm. And some of them, the questions were, were not relevant. I mean, he's five. Right. You know, time management you know, yeah, uh, he plays with his dinosaurs in a strict line, and they he makes <laughs> make sure that for five minutes they can stay in there. <laughs> it, it just yeah, there's things that did it. Yeah, there's there was a question about that though. You oh, know, geez. is he you know precise and yes, he lines up everything. Yeah, he knows every single official name of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, what they look like, what color they are, what yeah. they ate. Yeah. Um, Yes, he knows everything. And, and so there's some t- things that we would get to, you know, so your sister and I would look at him and it would have two rows. So some it, sometimes the um, assessment will be for self and then somebody else. But mm-hmm. she crossed out self and put mom and then the other one was grandparent. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, which uh, Connor was funny because in that same way, way Connor's been um, experiencing, um, trying to figure out who belongs to who and where does everybody fit? Right. So he thinks it's hysterical that you're my son. (laughs) Um, (laughs) And um, he wants to know if we're married. And I said, no, (laughs) I'm married to Pa. He goes, you're married to Pa? And uh, just cracked up over that. (laughs) But we're sitting out in the, we're standing out in the waiting room. um, And, and when she was getting checked in and he goes, "Uh, Gammy, you're my, you're my favorite uh, grandma <laughs> and I said you're my favorite grandson it's just cute he's tr- he's yeah, announcing yeah. to me recently that you're a gammy but you're my gate grandma I said yes that's correct so he's trying to figure out and he goes he, and he says what somebody's name is he goes do you know um fodder 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 <laughs> you know as my fodder he talks about um his dad is his fodder he goes do you know what his name is and i said yes do you he goes yes daddy that's <laughs> really cute um which rj is moving back home in two weeks yes so that'll be a nice thing yeah. um 
going back to and by the way talking to you right now is is like making me less crabby <laughs> so i'm happy about that yeah me too um, the thing that yeah <laughs> yeah i bet you are the the thing that i wanted to, to really talk about today though is that making the decisions for you all the time is something that i really have talked before about i've tried different things to I kind of have create this separation between us. And um, sometimes I'm, this week alone, there's been two things that I've just said, I'm not doing it. You do it. Let's see it. You do it. And mm-hmm. um, I guess I'm just feeling so overwhelmed by everything. The exhaustion of, you know, looking for a house, you know, taking care of Nana. The kids are here a lot um the stuff that's going on with connor and um and that's not including stuff for me it's not you both the the, both of the the einstein and oliver the pups have been not doing well and yeah i'm saying that 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 whole list yeah doesn't even include me yet right so it's like yeah and so we I would. I've been hopeful because the medication change that you've been on, one in particular for ADD, mm-hmm. the, the doctor, or the psychiatrist thinks that the Adderall that you were on, <clears throat> excuse me, was not even. We did a gene testing on you, and it wasn't even effective. Right. It was. It was so, not. It was not at working at a therapeutic level. Correct. And so the Vivance couldn't really help you to keep on track. Like she told me that at your age, I shouldn't be having. You know. Let's right. let's work on getting me less involved in your day to day prompting and and redirecting. Yeah. So I guess that as we're looking for a house, I'm like, okay, there's got to be a bedroom for you. If there's not a bedroom, is there a place we can build something for you there? And then I have like a little pity party. Hmm. I'm like, well, I didn't expect to still be living with Josh when he's 32, and and then I go down that path, which is to no good. <laughs> no, that's probably why you're so crabby. <laughs> it's why I'm so crabby, which is like I didn't expect this to happen. I, you know, um, and feeling like what can I do about it? What do I do about it? How do I stop this cycle that always leads to me feeling overwhelmed? Um. I brought up the medication because that is for ADD. That Vyvanse is is the the hope is that it helps you just to, to to better stay on track. Right. Is on this your, on your is own. Vyvanse the one that uh, that is like an alternative to Adderall that Correct. that does not have as many side effects? Correct. Okay. But it's also it's just the properties. It's it's a different makeup, so it affects me differently. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Um. And so it's not it's not an inset, I think it was what it was. I don't remember. I don't remember either. I I don't know. But I had just been feeling like I guess, you know, looking at the house and moving forward. Um It's like there's places that are some awesome places that are for people on the spectrum that go and they live there and they make a big difference and they, they're they helpful and you don't qualify and you don't want to go there anyway but you don't qualify and why, why don't I? is it because I'm too little, high functioning it, or yeah, something? yeah you can do some things that you know in order to go there you would not be able to do on your own Mm. And would need help with those things. But what happens is I end up being I end up being all things and sometimes like again, like I got led to being crabby today because I it's one of those times in my life where I just like I I don't want to be all things. Right. And I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I want you to do things. I want to do these you to do these things. <gasps> Ooh, excuse me, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> <laughs> That's my life. I'm like, I'm like, 
<laughs> I was trying to make it quiet. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. As I'm talking about how, how overwhelmed I feel, I'm boring you. <laughs> You're not of... <laughs> boring me. Oh my gosh, I, I slept so much today. It's ridiculous. Why? Which is why I'm upset. <laughs> Two. I mean, I woke get up, dude. I mean, you woke me up at 11. I know. I fell back asleep and then I, I woke up at like, what, four? I don't know. Something like that. No, I woke you up a whole bunch of times in between. You did? Yes. I don't even remember those. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I know. It's, uh, it's okay. Uh, but it is a matter of me really needing you to start doing things for yourself. One of the things that I said I'm not doing was a medication needed to be refilled. Yeah. And you told me just a couple of days before it needed to be done. And I'm so frustrated. I'm like, dude, you know when your medicine is almost out. I'm trying to step back and let you, you know, really. Right. So that you are in charge of your own life. And then, you know, without enough notice, then I'm told, oh, I've got to get, you know, out of medicine. Then i got to. Right. Is you know, it, which I did take care of it. I well, lo- I tried to. Correct. I'll give you yes, yes. You are correct. The 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 doctor's office called me today, and said, uh, "Josh called, but we're not sure what you need. Could you <laughs> explain?" <laughs> like yes. So yes, you did do that. The other thing is, we just got you a car. Yeah. Dad helped you to make a phone call. Uh, he didn't help you. He he prompted you to call the D- DMV to set up an appointment online mm-hmm. to have the, the, the title and um, registration registration taken care of. Yeah. And you and did I, that. And I also took it to get a, a, a state inspection. Correct. Yeah. And... What's so confusing to me is why can you think of it yourself to go get a state inspection? Dad told me. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. He, he's like, hey, you should do this. I'm like, okay. Okay. So I went and did it. All right. Like I called him up. Mm-hmm. Like I found their number, mm-hmm. called him up, found out when their hours were, how much it cost. Okay. If there was nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. And found out that they were open that day. Okay. So I went, mm-hmm. had him take care of it. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. yeah, and nothing was wrong, and it all passed. Right, for twenty bucks. Yep, good deal. Yeah, yeah. So there are those things that you. Here's a just a, here's what it is, you know, um, whatever it is that I'm gonna talk to you about today. I just feel like I'm exhausted and I'm crabby. Because um, doing so many things yeah. that trying to help and you stay on track and get your life moving. Like, yeah. like with, like with, like, I don't know, it's like stuff like this. Like, I'm like, well, okay, well, what, what college are you looking at going to? But you don't look unless I tell you. Right, because I, I, I just don't think of it. Yeah, Exactly. And same thing with brushing your teeth and doing the dishes or clearing the dishwasher. Yeah. And um, and I'm thinking... Uh, uh, you did tell me, was it yesterday? To, rem- to Once I get up, to, rem- to try and remember to work into my schedule, to remember to change my shirt, mm-hmm. and... To brush my teeth. Yes. I remembered at least one of them. What'd you do? Put on a different shirt. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. And then later on I brushed my teeth. <laughs> yeah, good. But good. you asked me to do that one. Yes. Because I'm, like, I'm not going to do a podcast with you until you <laughs> brush your teeth. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So... The separation that I'm trying to achieve is is sort of like, and I don't know if you're going to understand this. So maybe this isn't for you. This 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 that what I'm about to say. But maybe mm-hmm. I just need to say it out loud, and maybe for anybody that's out there that's feeling this way. I feel like I need to 
have me back. I feel like I need to do things for me. I need to... The, the responsibility that I feel for everybody else is not even necessarily anybody else putting that on me. It's what I've taken on. And mm -hmm. with you, you have needed me to be there uh, full force for, for, for your entire life. Yeah. And I try stepping back. I could say it's like this dance. I step back, and then I got to rush in and, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to get to a point where I don't have to rush in. Yeah. And that's for both of us. I want, and I don't know if I'm being ridiculous because am I just hopeful about something that's just not the way it's going to be? Or is it possible if if it's, you know, looked at medication? You know, can I give you your independence? When I give you your independence, well, like, we're talking about looking at houses, right? Yeah. This house that we're looking at, it has this basement. We can finish the basement. You want to stick me in the basement? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. 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 I do. It's a nice basement. Yeah. Um, and I'm thinking, I don't know, can you keep it clean? I guess this is the whole thing. It's like I'm... I'm I'm going, this is not you, about you. This is right. about me. I'm going along and expecting things to be different every day, and they never are. And you know what the definition I don't of want to. Is. I don't want to. <laughs> sorry. I, now I don't know what I was saying. I'm sorry. It's okay. That's all right. Please don't be crabby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you lose your train of thought. That's all right. That's all right. It's just... It just feels like I keep on doing... I keep on being... Setting things up in hope that there's success in a new way. And I don't mean just for you. I mean for us. Right. So that I can have some freedom. So I can have some time to do things for me and um then I feel like well I'm not doing things right I'm not doing I don't know if it's not enough I, I but, but but I can be spinning my wheels you know I can be doing all kinds of stuff without it being effective which is what it looks like to me right because we are not moving forward and if I'm still constantly thinking that oh well and, and, and hopeful that things will be different, I'm saying, am I being realistic or not? Hmm. And and I think right now that if your room is not clean, what makes me think that a basement is going to be clean? Right. And I'm thinking, that's not fair to you. If you can't do better than you're doing, that's not fair. Right. If you can do better than you're doing... Why aren't you doing better than you're doing? My room is a catch-all. Mm. Did you notice that? I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing with you. I. I. I'm. <laughs> you're holding your hands out because it's like, yeah, well, you forgot. I'm crabby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, things keep uh, keep being put in my room. That don't belong to me. And well, it's because you have that long closet, and, yeah. and if it's if it's, I didn't realize that that's what's ha what's happening, and if it, when those things when those things if that happens, please let me know. Okay. And it does if stuff is in there that doesn't belong to you. Um, and I think what happens is you have that long closet. You give you gave us one side of it, mm -hmm. and the suitcases. And different things go in there. If it mm. wasn't moved all the way in there, please let us know and we can take care of it, okay? Okay. Um, what I'm... What I'm talking about is that... I don't know that I've really even finished a sentence here <laughs> in this <laughs> podcast today, but I want to say this. When I'm looking at houses to buy... I think that 
I have an idea in my head of what I want. I just want a little tiny house. I don't want a big house. I want a little tiny house. It's comfortable. It's comfortable. A little yard, so I don't have to do a lot of yard work. Yeah. And, um... You know, maybe get a jacuzzi in there for your dad because of his back. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But every time that I think of things, you're included in it. And then when I think of things like this, like when I think of this little house, well, then now the house has to be bigger because you're included in it. And it's not that I want you to be excluded, mm-hmm. but it, then it shifts what it is that I need to look at. And then I think, well, how can this accommodate you? How Where would this room be for you? This basement. It has a place that we could put a kitchen. It has a place we could put a couple rooms, a living room. Right. And by the way, I am getting custody of your brother-in-law, too, apparently. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, it just feels sometimes like... I'm always making decisions that I'm hopeful are best for everybody else. And I'm crabby today because I feel like I want to make decisions that are best for me. Not for everybody else. I want to I want to do things that I want and when I want and 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 the way that I want. And um what? Um I was just going to say you should when it comes to your house do it how you want it to be where you'll be happy I understand what you're saying Mm -hmm. you're overcomplicating it complicating it did I say it right the first time? I think so Okay. Um, do it so that it'll make you happy And we can work more things out afterwards. Right. Mm Mm-hmm. And I know it's more difficult than that. But it, in my mind, it should be that simple. It should be that simple, Josh. It should be. And it's nobody else's responsibility that it's not for me. You understand what I'm saying? Is that I'm not I'm not mad at you. Right. I, I'm just kind of having this internal battle of of, you know, maybe a little pity party today, feeling <laughs> like I am 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 wanting to get up every day. I would like to just get up and just do things for me, get my work done, do my stuff, do things, you know. But I get all these phone calls and I get yeah. all the, by doctors and, and yeah. c- counselors and and insurance companies and, you know, like an insurance company, the TMS stuff. They keep messing up the bill. I keep getting bills. So I call them and I go, I already paid this. Yeah. And they go, oh, well, you know, or, yeah. or the insurance didn't pay their part. And I, and I have to call an insurance company and get them to change the coding on it. Say, look, this was put in wrong. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's, um, I guess I'm, I'm just, th- this kind of just went off on a tangent. So now I'm just having a little <laughs> pity party. What I'm trying to say is that I'm hopeful all the time that you and I can find some separation. Yeah. And it seems like there is this thing that we do all the time where it's like, one, you know, one step forward and two steps back. Because we're not getting anywhere. We're not, it just does what it feels like sometimes. Or two steps and I, back and rush forward. And I understand that <laughs> you're saying that, you, you know, for me to make these decisions that work for me, well... Where are you going to go then? Bottom line. And again, I don't, I'm not, tr- I, I, I hope it. this isn't hurting your feelings because no, it's not no. how I mean this. No, I get it. If I don't choose something that works for you as well, where are you going to go? I 
in a van down by the river, apparently, but, uh, <laughs> no, uh, I get what you're saying. I do. It's... So what I'm saying is that what it feels like at times when I'm overwhelmed with every other bit of stress. Yeah. That you're saying just choose what I want. And I could just choose what I want. And I'm choosing the best option. That includes you. Yeah. Because I'm not going to exclude you. Right. But I also... I, I guess I just don't want for you to be unhappy. Well, thank you, honey. Thank you. I'm really talking about the everyday events. It's not even about... So, I found this house. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah. I'm not even... It, it, I found this house that I like. I think I could be happy there. It mm-hmm. has this basement. We can convert it. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so, we could have that separation. I, we have our level of the house, you, you know, and yeah. RJ in, in the basement. Yeah. Well, but what I'm talking about is those daily, those daily prompts and reminders that when I'm so exhausted with everything else, those things just wear me down. Yeah. And I don't know how to do that different. I haven't been effective doing it. I haven't been very good at it, it would seem, because we're still at it this many years later. And I'm saying that I sometimes I don't know, am I being unrealistic? Because there are times when I get upset and I'm thinking, well, you're just not even doing, you know, you're not trying or you're not, you know. And then I can see by your response to me that you were trying, <laughs> That it was legit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then I feel like a jerk because I just got <laughs> mad at you when it's a legit thing that you're not, you know, you were doing the best you could. You didn't understand what was being asked of you or whatever. Right. Well, I just don't know how to, sometimes it just feels like I don't know how to get out of this cycle that we're in. And and I just want to have some separation. I want to be able to do my thing and rely that, again, rely that you're going to do what you need to do during the day, that you're going to yeah. get up, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know? Like, it's, I don't know. I, I, I feel like this has just been a wine fest, so I apologize to anybody that's listening that just, that, you know, if I'm coming off that I'm just whining about this, I'm not wording it very effectively or clearly. Um, and and in the same breath, I say I want something, and then I'm at the, by the end of the sentence, I'm saying, yeah, but, you know, and, you know, <laughs> I get just, that's I get autism. That. That, that's I, autism, though. It it is, but it yes. Yet, how do we find our way to something that's higher, f- functional for both of us, functioning for both of us? Right. How can we both feel more freedom? Right. You know, where you can do w- w- volunteer places, or go to college, or get a job, do these things. And and where I don't have to be there holding your hand to do it. Right. The answer is, I don't know if that's possible. Right. And most days it's fine. And sometimes, when I'm exhausted from other things in my life, it's not fine. Right. And that's days like today. And day like today is when I just wish that I didn't have to prompt and redirect you. Right. And I... Don't usually say that to you. Um, but I, I want for you to know. I just didn't do this one by myself because I want for you to know that I need for you to put more effort in. And then we'll know. If it, This is the whole tricky part of autism, isn't it? Yeah. Because I'm sitting there saying put more effort in and you're going, huh? 
<laughs> <laughs> and it, it this might be it. Right? If it's it, then that's what it is. Oh. I, and I don't want to try to make this something different. It, I don't want to... I understand. I'm not disappointed in you because it makes me think that when I'm saying all this stuff that that's what I'm saying and I'm not. Right. I, and I understand that. Okay. I want us both to do better. And thrive and be happy. Yeah. And not be crabby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I... Th- I'm I'm just having a day where I just want some separation. I don't want to have to decide anything for anybody else today. Right. I want everybody else to do whatever they need. Find it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. the kind of day it is. Okay. You know? Yeah. I, I it's it's so bad. I mean I would tell Oliver and Einstein, go make your own food, guys. <laughs> <laughs> except you already did. <laughs> yeah, except I already fed them. Um Yes. I don't have any answers today. It sounded like it was just a great fest, so maybe that's all it is. Well, here's the thing. Hmm. If we find the answers, there's a whole other podcast. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> that's true. All right. Well, you okay with what I've said? Because I don't... I'm always... I'm always aware... Of two things. A couple things. One is that I don't want to hurt your feelings or right. sound condescending. At the same time, trying to find my space, my, you know, to be able to stay on my path and do the things that matter to me without having to always be there to help you through your stuff. Right. At the same time, uh, when I'm expecting these things, you're absolutely right. Autism can not only look different in individuals, it can look different day to day. Yeah. It can look different yeah. hour to hour. So then while I'm getting upset about stuff, I'm like, oh, then I realized that, oh, that was legit. Or, you didn't get it. Or, you know. It can also change room to room. Room to room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, so, uh, and I, I'd like to make a point. Okay. And that is that even in this podcast and stuff, I've been making jokes and trying to, and trying to make light of things. Mm Mm-hmm. That's not me trying to just literally make light of things. That's me trying Uh, to... Honey, you grew up around comedians. Yeah. You know... Yeah. It, it, what what is like that? That's a cardinal rule. Everything is funny. <laughs> so I get I get what you're doing. Yeah, I get it. But I I but our you guys listening might not understand that yet. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to point that out. Right, right. I didn't I didn't take offense. I don't. I'm right. not upset by what you're doing. Right. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Well. Still crabby. <laughs> Don't have anything else to say. Um, I'm so appreciative of everybody listening. Um, I, you know, I, I imagine that there's moms and dads and caregivers out there feeling what I'm feeling. I think you're bound to at some point or another. Um, it can just feel overwhelming. It can feel like there's no end in sight. It can feel like there's answers that are elusive. Um or don't stick if they are implemented. And I'm not sure what, you know, Josh, I'm not sure what you're truly sometimes capable of and what you're not. And when I push you, I feel like I still don't know because it changes. And that's exactly it. Uh huh. Is that it changes from day to day. Yep. yep. And normally it's okay. And, and just today it's not. Right. Um, I am sorry about that. Well, honey, thank you for that. It, I, my love for you isn't affected whatsoever. Right, it, right. Regardless of how it is that I'm feeling. Right. I, it just is an overwhelming, frustrated feeling that I'm having. 
and you know it's it's coming out as me crabby today because it's how I'm feeling. Right. And you know I'll try to get some sleep and you know tomorrow's a new day. Yeah. Um, I just didn't. We we need to do a podcast. I'm not going to pretend that I'm all happy today because I don't know how to do that. Right. Um. So I just thought, well, I'll just talk about what I'm feeling. Yeah. And this is it. Yeah. So, um, anyway, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to ask about a five-star review when I've been crabby. <laughs> <laughs> give me a five-star review. I've been crabby, so oh, yeah. give it to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is very helpful for us. If you do that, we appreciate it. Um, okay. Anyway, anyway, Josh, you've been, you've been, a. Uh, um, I'm glad that you were here with me. Um, me and too. I was able to express this without hurting your feelings. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Anyway, everybody, I'm sending you all huge hugs today because um, it's a day where I, I feel like I need them, but don't because I'm crabby. <laughs> <laughs> um, and. Anyway, I'm sending all of you out there big hugs today, and um, and I, I, I hope that I hope that you're having a good day, yeah. and um, it's peaceful. So we will talk to you next week. Love you. Bye.